Okay, well, what we're going to try and to do now is to um, solder a, a little battery management chip which has a thermal pad. Um, actually, you won't be able to focus on this, but that's the uh, chip that uh, I've removed and we're going to put a new one on. Um, there's a fair bit of solder left on the board, so I'm going to so it won't need much for the uh, for the new chip, but I want to first level um, the, uh, the solder that's there. Um, the technique I'm going to use is having a hot air gun apply heat from the top, and I'm using a soldering iron to apply heat from the bottom. And hopefully you can see uh, with the mirror there um, that I've got the soldering iron on the uh, vias at the bottom of the thermal tip. And the iron's set to just over 200 degrees centigrade, so it's just about melting the, uh, the solder. So it produces the, the basic level of heat, and then we'll, we'll do the rest with, with the heat gun. So I'm now, uh, and I've got the heat gun set to uh, 240. Um, and hopefully now, as we just move this around, we'll see the solder on the various pads just start to uh, melt a bit. We'll just squirt a little bit of um, flux on this just to sort of help help things in motion. I can see now that the uh, the side pads now are sort of melting and bumping up nicely. So there's a little bob in the middle that uh, I quite like to if it would settle down a shade. I may have to use a something just to sort of encourage it along a little bit. Um, no, it's not quite melted. All right, you can see now that the uh, all the stuff in the middle now is has flattened down, uh, and the stuff on the pads around the side are also looking okay. I think so. Let's just give it the last little bit, just for luck. Okay, I think we're there on that. So I'm now going to turn the. Uh, the iron down again and allow things to to cool off a bit. I um, don't know if that helps you. Uh, unfortunately, with the reflections, that's not helping you see what's going on. Okay, we'll just stop for a moment while I position the uh, the chip for the soldering. Well, I put a, a very small uh, blob of um, solder paste right into the uh, middle of the thing for the thermal pad. Um, I'll try not to put too, put too, too, too much on. Um, it only needs about 50% adhesion to get good thermal transfer. And then um, I've used, and I, I, I've just squirted a little bit of uh, flux around the pads on the outside. So uh, that should help. And uh, for the chip itself, again, oops, I'm just coating the, the bottom with... Um, with, with flux, your orientation is noted by just a tiny um, indentation on the pad, and that means that it goes that way up. And I really don't want to get this wrong. Okay, I'll go off camera while I position it because that's going to take a little little bit of time. Okay, well I'm now just turning up the uh, the temperature of the iron that's underneath the the uh, the chip. That'll come up in about 30 seconds, but uh, the same time as applying heat underneath, we'll um, we'll start applying uh, heat heat on top as well.
Well, the island underneath it is, is up to temperature now. But hopefully, that's just going to allow me to finish the job off with the uh, new thing from from above. Right, well I think I can see the, uh, the solder on the left hand side is now sort of wicking up onto the, the, the chip. I, I may need to go around with, a, um, with an iron to just tidy that up a bit. This other side looks alright. Uh, this is going to be a little bit restricted. Just not do that a little bit intentionally, but um, it's not quite in the position I'd like it, so I'm just going to have to heat it up a bit more just to help get it in position. Okay. Okay, I think that's there now, so we're just going to turn everything down and uh, come a bit further away to allow the to cool down not too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 